Hello everyone, in the first part of this series we created a telegram messaging bot where the user is able to send text to the bot and the bot parses this input and sends him a response back. So we created a small uh, command which is slash count so the user sends a sentence and the bot replies with the number of letters in this sentence. In this tutorial we'll, co we'll be covering two features, sending a photo from the bot to the user and of course sending a photo album. So let's start, uh, we'll create of course a comment which is slash image and takes a query which can be for example a cat or a flower, also there will be a query which is all so that the bot sends me all the images it can be sent, it can be sent that can be sent. So let's start, uh, first of all I downloaded a few images, a bird, a cat, a flower and place them anywhere in your system just copy the path and let's start I'll add a static a string which is images path equal here and just add add here so you can you don't need to escape the backslashes simple and as this backslash at the end I'll add also a list of strings which uh, hold my images uh, images equals new list of string like this and I'll add my images really quick Oops. like this and let me add them bird.jpg flower.jpg cat.png I think cat.png yes that's it so now I have the path and I have the images so let's start I'll comment the part of the code we've done in the past tutorial and start fe.message.text starts with our comment which is a slash image like this of course you can always check for the type of the message to make sure it's a text but it's okay for the sake of this tutorial it's not necessary so uh, let me take the query first which is e.message.text I'll split it on the first parenthesis then take the second part and then split it on the second parenthesis and take the second part the, oh, sorry the first part like this and to make sure that I have uh, my query correctly let me test it so I'll write to the console the result of the query now if I write image of anything it should be written in the console like this so it's working now good now I'll delete this line and let's try to send him a cat whenever he sent me a query of a cat query equals equals cat I'll use bot dot send photo async like this I'll have to give him a chat ID a photo and optional parameters like a caption for example a parse mode I'll cover them after we send the first image e.message.chat.id and I'll have to add input online file which is a type inside the telegram bot so let's create it input online file control dot enter input online file I'll name it which is a new input online file it takes a stream to a file so I'll open a stream uh, of course uh, to make sure we are working uh, good let's do for stream equal file dot but file is not included also dot using system.io dot open read I'll open the, the file which is images path plus the name the cat which is at index 2 images of two like this and that put everything inside it how did I know it's two of course uh, basic programming it's a list zero one two so I will give it the stream why I put using as well here so the stream closes uh, after I finish from this I'll give it an input online file stream like this now guess what this will not work I'll explain why later let's try it now 
slash image of cat. It did not give me an image. Why? Because as you can see, this is an asynchronous function, and here I'm not waiting it so that uh, this uh, function, which is bottom message, is ending, and I'm not done with sending my photo. So to fix this, we put await here, and we make the function asynchronous, like this, and now I'll be able to receive it, like this, and I received this cute cat. That's it, it's working now. Let's explore the other uh, parameters. For example, if I want to add a caption, here's your cat, like this, run the program. And as you can see, here's your cat, like this. Now, of, of course, if I want to add the parse mode, uh, if you're familiar with HTML, you want to add HTML to do like some design with your text, this text, the caption, or you mark down. Uh, if you don't know what's marked down, just Google it. Uh, it's cool. So let me choose HTML now. But you can't use, of course, everything in HTML here in your text. There are only some tags that are supported in Telegram. So you can go to the official Telegram documentation, the API documentation of the bot. You can see which tags are supported. Here are the tags. So let's try the italic one. Let me go here. And add i so now I should be see it in italic like this let me put it here as you can see like this that's it for the photos I'll keep this and let's add uh, the photo album now query equals equals all so whenever he sends me slash image all I should send him back the photo album. So let's start. First of all, of course, we start by checking the one that we'll be using, the function that we'll be using, which is send media group async. Of course, you can check it as well in the documentation here. Send media group like this. Here it is. It takes parameters chat ID, media, and there's an explanation for each parameter. Uh, take a look at it. Also, you can see them here, as we used to do in this tutorial, chat ID and a list of input media base. So let's add the chat ID, but uh, let me point something out. This uh, function is deprecated, so it's preferable to use the other one, which is which takes an iAlbum input media first and the chat ID next. So let me add the chat ID here. And of course now we have the input media base so I have to add an input media so uh, after checking out it needs to take an input media photo this is the object that will be taken a list of input media photo so but first things first we need to open stream to the files that we'll be sending so let's open make a list of streams list of streams sorry file stream like this I'll name it streams and I'll create it list of file stream I'll write file dot open read like this images path plus images of zero like this let me copy this and add one two of course in a real application you'll not do it like this you'll not add uh, using the indexes you'll do a loop and add these files but it's okay for this tutorial and then we'll create a list of input media photo control dot enter like this Imp I'll name it just media equals new list list of input media photo like this now there's a problem that I imported uh, the telegram.bot.types which include a type named file and here the file I'm using is in the system.io so I need to give it it explicitly system.io.file so I'm using this file type that's it and I have to fix it here as well like this so now I loop over each stream for each 
var stream in streams I loop over all the files and add them here so media dot add new input media photo what does it take it takes an input media so new input media what does it take a stream then I give it a stream and a name I'll give it stream dot name which is the file name that's it so now I should add media here and that's it so to sum things up uh, we created stream to the files we also created a list of the media photos that we'll be sending and we added the streams and of course don't forget to close the files for each of our stream and streams like this stream.close now let's check it out if I send slash image dot all it should send me the photo album which is the bird the flower and the cat of course if you're wondering how to send the caption of the for the images you can do it easily by in the input media photo which have a property called caption like this caption equals you can add anything you want I'll just write name here start okay there's an error because I added semicolon here there's no need and then slash image and now if you click here you can see that the caption is name for everything you can of course customize this uh, that's it guy for this tutorial uh, I hope it was helpful for you uh, if you have any questions comments suggestions you can ask in the comment section or you can contact me on telegram at midukrin like this that's it and uh, I'll keep it uh, like this and see you in the next tutorial see you later guys goodbye